Oh, hi there. I'm Carrie Colsey, your Creative Services Manager. I've been with the department since 2016. Before that, I started a band called 999 Megabytes, but we never got a gig. What? It was a joke. You know, there's a thousand megabytes and a gigabyte. <sighs> Tough crowd. Anyway, so here I am, responsible for your creative and technological needs here at department. Well, we've got a real snooze fest ahead of us, so get your popcorn and let's get started. What do you mean we don't have any popcorn? <laughs> you can't watch a video without popcorn. What do you mean I'm supposed to be down there in person? You know I have stage fright. <sighs> Sorry guys, it looks like we're not getting any popcorn. Make sure to express your sincerest disappointment. Legion Mail. Good old, reliable Legion Mail. If you aren't familiar with it yet, well, don't worry about it. We pretty much just forward everything to your personal email, unless you're one of those. Seriously, all officers, commanders, chairs, and PDCs are assigned a Legion Mail account through department. Those new to Legion Mail should have your welcome letter right in front of you with all of your new account information. If you don't, hit me up later. Let's dive in to this enlightening video on Legion Mail. Legion Mail accounts are passed down each year. This gives our members the ability to easily and consistently contact someone in your position and also protects the privacy of your personal email from the general public and spammers. We ask that you use these email accounts strictly for Legion business and that you don't subscribe to any mailing list or use this email to register personal interest. Unfortunately, not everyone has heeded this advice, and some of you may receive a multitude of spam in your inboxes. We do have spam filtering enabled at a higher level. However, it will not eliminate this issue completely. Speaking of spam and junk mail, always remember to be wary of odd requests and emails with attachments and links. If it is something a little fishy, then check with the individual contact before acting, and most importantly, use your contact for that individual in a new email. Just clicking a reply, you could be talking to the catfish trying to scam you. Remember, if in doubt, reach out to the individual or to me. The easiest way to access your Legion Mail account is to navigate to legionmail.org and click Login Now. You can select either option for the webmail app that you use. I recommend just leaving it as the default of Roundcube. Enter your username and your password. and then click login. Now, as you will see, my mailbox is empty and yours likely will be too. As mentioned in your welcome letter, to make it as easy as possible, your Legion Mail accounts are forwarded to your personal email, eliminating the need to use our webmail portal at all. Although forwarding your emails is much simpler to manage, there are a couple of minor drawbacks. One. Oftentimes, emails that are forwarded to you can wind up in your junk folder and can be easily missed. You'll need to make a habit of checking your junk folder to ensure you're not missing anything. And secondly, when you reply to an email from your personal account, even one that was forwarded, it will reply with your personal email address. An example, instead of the email appearing to the recipient as username at legionmail.org, it would appear as your personal at email.com. But again, these are only minor drawbacks. However, if you would prefer to manage your Legion Mail separately and not have it forwarded, here's what you need to do. Once you've logged into your account, as I've just shown you, click on Settings, select Email Forwarding. In the first drop down, change Enabled to Disabled and then click Save. 
It's that simple. I do want to point out that this is also where you can change your Legion mail to forward to a different email if you'd like. While we're here, I also strongly recommend that you change your password for security purposes. As you can tell, the passwords I've given you are not very original and are easy to crack. So to change your password, again under Settings, click on Password. Enter your current password and then your new password. Confirm that new password. And click Save. And that's it. Moving forward, you would now use your new password to log in. If you should forget, you can always contact me for a reset. I won't take more of your time now to show you how to use your email as I'm hoping most of you know. If not, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have directly. Again, using webmail is not a requirement. I only recommend that you log in at least once to reset your password to something more secure. No other steps are needed if you're happy with your email being forwarded to your personal email. Huh? Oh, you're back. <clears throat> well, while we're on the subject of email, Let's take a look at our department email list that you have also been provided. Should you lose it, it's available on our website at floridalegion.org under Resources, then Forms and Documents. This list provides you with the emails for all of department. Super handy. If you notice, by the heading of each category, there is a generic email such as officers at legionmail.org, area commanders at legionmail.org, and so on. These emails will send to those grouped under it at one time. If you wanted to send an email to, let's say, the area commanders, you would address your email to areacommanders at legionmail.org and it would go out to all your area commanders. It's that simple, really. We also have two additional emails that are extremely helpful when you have information to distribute. Firstly, department at legionmail.org will email everyone on the whole department list that I gave you. Secondly, post at legionmail.org will email all of our Florida posts with emails. Please note, this hasn't been updated for this year, but I'll notify you as soon as it has. Now listen here, these two email accounts, department and post, are sacred and they should not be abused. They should, one, only be used for legitimate department business or information, no funny business. Uh, no bashing, political propaganda, personal use, we don't want to read it. These accounts require administrative release. That means we monitor these emails sent to these two addresses and we must manually approve them before they are released to the group. So we will catch all you rule breakers. You send to these groups just like any other email, but they won't distribute until we, the administrators, deem the content appropriate and release it. The department website. If you're not familiar with our website at floridalegion.org, well, should you be here? I mean, not to be mean, but it's like the information portal for all things department. Department website, again, is located at floridalegion.org. We update it all the time. It contains all the information. Information that is not only beneficial to our members, but to you as well. A lot of questions can be answered on our website such as deadlines, um, forms and documents, program information, you name it. The list goes on. And I prepared you another great video. A couple new additions I'd like to point out. First, our post locator, which can be found in the top right corner as find a post. Our post locator is specific to our Florida post only. As you can see, there are a couple different ways to search. By entering your location, or by category, which includes counties, districts, and areas. If a post needs to make a change to the listing, they can use our online form by clicking here.
or you can view a full post list by clicking here. Under the map, you can access the National Post Locator, update your post information, and view our area, zone, and district map. Our post locator isn't perfect and it's still a work in progress, but it's already proving to be a handy tool. Another thing I'm excited to announce is that each post now has its very own page under the department website. To access a post, you can use the post list here or you can navigate to the post directly. FloridaLegion.org forward slash and then the post number. In example, let's look at FloridaLegion.org forward slash post one. The information here is only as good as the information the post provides, which can be updated using our online submission form that I mentioned before. I manually update these pages as requested so the changes will not be instant. Each post page includes the following information if it's provided. The post location, the hours of operation, their contact information, membership information, Legion family information, the post amenities, and their program participation. These pages are a great tool for our post, especially those who do not already have an established online presence. These pages are not customizable by the post and will only contain the information specified above, but they are helpful. If a post would like to create an online presence, I'm happy to offer advice and make recommendations. Again, our department website is jam-packed with information. I strongly encourage you to explore on your own. Unfortunately, I don't have time to go over everything with you, but I'll highlight on a few features I think you'll use. Of course, our calendar is extremely useful and the information here again is only as accurate as the information provided and is subject to change at any time. You can submit your own events by using the link at the bottom of this page and once you submit your event, it will notify me. I'll make any necessary edits and approve if applicable. Post and programs are also welcome to submit Legion and veteran related events. Again, all is subject to approval. As an officer, commander, or chair, you also have your own page where you can submit a report at any time. Now just email it to me at webmaster at floridalegion.org. I also try to update these pages with the articles you submit for the Legion link. Another appreciated feature of the website are your weekly membership reports. Granted, things have been a little rocky with all the recent changes, but they seem to be ironing out as time progresses. We try to post the report on Thursdays and no later than Friday of each week. You can view the report and our progress here. Under Resources, You'll be able to find many of the forms, brochures, and manuals and other information under forms and documents. These are a very small sampling of the department website. I strongly recommend that you explore and familiarize yourself with everything. Back again, huh? So, show of hands, how many are familiar with the Legion link? It's okay, you can lie. I can't actually see you and call you out. Raise your hand proudly. The Legion Link is our monthly department newsletter. It's a compilation of all of your hard work and it publishes on the first of each month. And your articles are due the 15th of each month prior to the next edition. Don't panic. We don't publish a July edition so your first articles won't be due until July 15th for the August edition. Now, if you don't submit for the Legion link, then what's the point? I mean, it doesn't exist without you. Don't miss this chance to inform and engage our members. Submit articles that are informative, interesting, not travelogues, 
unless you can make them super exciting. And most of you can't. You can find the Legion link on our fabulous department website under news and events, then a Legion link. If you scroll down to the bottom of our page, you will find our guidelines for publication and a submission link. Now pay close attention and email your articles to legionlink at floridalegion.org. Again, legionlink at floridalegion.org or use the online submission form. If you don't do that, it could be lost in the clouds and never seen. Once you've submitted your articles properly, our receptionist will give them a look over for grammatical errors and no-no content. Next, I will compile the newsletter and forward to our adjutant and his assistants for review. Once the necessary changes are made, we will revise and publish on the first of each month. A copy is also physically mailed to the post. However, fair warning, it is getting rather expensive to do that, so we might have to reevaluate that in the very near future. So send us your articles, let us know the hard work that you're putting in, and what exciting things you've learned and can share with others. Remember to submit by the 15th of each month. If you need an extra day or two, let me know and I'll try to sneak you in. Hint, if the 15th is on a Friday or a weekend, I'm not touching it until Monday. So there's a couple days already. Social media. Let me say, you guys love your Facebook. However, Facebook I think is getting a little too big for its britches with all the stupid changes they keep making. You hear me? I know you can all relate. So let us know what platforms you like to use. Just email me at webmaster at floridalegion.org. Again, webmaster at floridalegion.org with your social media preferences. Despite all the stupid changes, we are still most active on Facebook. And I strongly recommend you follow us. It's really just plain rude not to. I mean, we're all supposed to be friends. I'm not going to drone on about social media. Either you use it or you don't. We're not going to force you into anything. You can see our current social media accounts linked in the top right of our fabulous website. Check out Flickr for photos. Creative. Finally, the fun part. I am one of those artsy fartsy folks. I love to be creative, hence creative services manager. Those coins and pins you love to trade, t-shirts you love to wear, convention books, and so much more. Yeah, that's me. Hope you're excited about those items as I am to create them. Although it's my favorite part of the job and I love to lend a helping hand, my work is for the department level only. I've had requests from posts and individuals to create things and, and as much as it pains me, I have to decline. I can't do for one that I can't do for another and there are so many of you that I can't do for everyone. So I do have a life and responsibilities here so please keep that in mind. However, I am always happy to offer advice and resources if you want to reach out. While we're on the subject of creative, let's talk about branding and emblem usage. National owns and maintains the right to control how national branding and emblems are used. This includes our department logo as it includes national branding. Remember, you need permission when using any of the Legion family branding on your own creative endeavors. This mostly pertains to promotional items, shirts, coins, pins, you get it. Read up. You can download the guidelines and branding at legion.org forward slash brand. Again, that's legion.org forward slash brand. Phew, that's all folks. Thank you for your time and attention that you managed to muster up. I hope this has been helpful and feel free to reach out to me if you have any additional questions. My email is ccolsey at floridalegion.org. On a serious note, thank you for your service and your continued service. It is an honor to work with our veterans and each and every one of you on a daily basis. And this concludes this presentation.